welcome again to Tiger Carpenter today I'm going to make a doweling jig which is self-centering so to make my self-centering doweling jig I'm going to use this aluminum flat bar 10 millimeters thick and 25.4 millimeters wide so it's one inch and 10 millimeters thick for the purpose of my jig i'm going to use another jig that i already have but you don't have to use it i simply have it so I'm, i want to take advantage of this jig this jig is for drilling straight and it already has stainless steel inserts of different sizes as you can see so that makes my life very easy but if you don't have this kind of jig you can buy it separately or you can use a copper pipe or simply drill the hole in the aluminum flat bar it's 14.92 mm so let's assume it's 15 15 millimeters for that I will be using 15 millimeters Forstner bit and this video will also answer the question of some some of you who were maybe wondering if the if they can use the Forstner bit to drill aluminum we have to perform every step as accurately as we possibly can so this will ensure that our jig can be trusted Sometimes we have to resort to the good old method, which is hand sewing. Okay, so now I'm going to mark the holes. So this is exactly 9 inches. So the center hole will be at 4.5. I will use my machinist blocks to mark the equal distance. So these are three inches. I really like to use machinist blocks because they come in matched pairs and they make your life so much easier. So the holes <coughs> for my jig will be on the 2 inch mark and 4 inch mark. Now I'm going to find the center of this bar. So now I'm going to set the caliper to half inch. And I will lock the caliper so we have 0 0.5 and now I know people don't like it but this is my caliper so I'm marking the holes with the sharp carbide end of the caliper Okay, so now that I have marked my holes in my aluminum bar, which will be my self-centering doubling jig, I'm ready to drill. The middle, the center hole will be drilled using the Forstner bit 15 mm, which is matching the stainless steel inserts 
for my other jig so I can make double use of these inserts because I have inserts for all sizes and these uh, side holes will be drilled with 7 mm and tapped to 8 mm so that I can put 8 millimeters bolts which will act as a st stoppers for rotating my jig on the material okay I'm going to use some little trick the trick I'm going to use I use the very thin drill bit to, ad to adjust the position more precisely and then once I lock the fence in place I will switch to the bigger drill bit I believe I have good position for the thin drill bit now I'm going to swap the drill bit with this sem number 7 perfect Looks good. So now I will proceed to the most difficult hole, which is the Forstner bit. So now I'm aligning the Forstner bit, which is quite easy because it has the pin. Okay, so I have aligned the Forstner bit. Now I'm going to generously lubricate it and we will take it slowly. Okay, so it's actually already popping out a little bit of filing will make it pretty so now that we have the holes drilled and the stainless steel insert is fitting perfectly before I tap these four holes I want to make a guide for the tap and for that I'm going to use my jig so now I have the guide that will allow me to tap these holes perfectly perpendicular because that is also the key element to make it precise You can see this allows me to make sure that my tap is perfectly perpendicular. All the holes are threaded. Let me get the bolts. I haven't decided on the bolts yet, but I will try this. Okay, so I have driven in all the bolts and I verified that they are 90 degrees uh, two sets of bolts in the two different distance from the center hole because most of the time I will be using the shorter distance 
and sometimes I might use the big, big thick material, then I will use the external outside bolts. So now we are going to test it. So this is my insert. Uh, I'm entering the center hole. So here is the moment of truth. I'm holding the jig against and pushing these bolts to the walls. Uh, this bolt on this side, because the drill is rotating to the right, so it will be locking the jig. If I put it this way, the jig will fly together with the drill bit. So I'm locking the jig this way. <coughs> so this is officially the first dowel hole that I ever made with this jig. And here is the dowel. So it fits the hole tightly and you can see that it is centered uh, the same distance on left and right it's perfectly centered let's test our self-centering doubling jig always remember to put this bolt on this side to lock it as the drill bit rotates So the jig is working, the dowel is 90 degrees, so everything is cool. Of course in the normal application you will be probably applying glue, this is just a demo. The dowel is perfectly 90 degrees and this will conclude our build. Thank you very much and see you